Welcome back to this part 5 of our Phoenix Point playthrough with the Better Classes mod. So in the last mod we did the first mission to unlock bionic technology. We activated a base with an aircraft and then realized that aircraft could not currently travel. So we are on our way to go find some uh, points of interest and clear a path for that aircraft. Even though we don't have a great team to uh, crew that aircraft at the mo moment, um, getting it online is useful. At the very least, it can run around between havens and do some trading for us. I'm just uh, sipping on a soothing rooibos and ginger tea to try and soothe my throat. Yep, I'll take it. Recruiting snipers from New Jericho doesn't seem great just because of the uh, custom abilities that they get now. Well, that didn't get me any further. I never end up using the blaster as vest. I don't know if it's worth researching, to be honest. So, can you start moving? Yes, wonderful. So we're all going to go back to Phoenix Point, rest up a little bit. Put the truck and the two troops into that Manticore and it can now start exploring and trading. New recruits. So they need to go back and uh, rest a little bit. So you are the Phoenix Project, eh? I've heard a lot about you. Who am I? Well, the maker, of course. I run things around here. Welcome to the marketplace. Here and only here you will find some very special hardware. <laughs> I design, build, and test every piece of equipment here with my own two hands, you see. <laughs> this guy's wearing a garbage bag, I swear. To explode every now and again, these uh, toys of mine. They do make some pretty fireballs, though. <laughs> Both when they work and uh, when they suddenly stop working. So that's the start of the... Uh... New DLC. What's it called? Engines of Chaos? Something like that. So you get these uh, little vehicle things. Obviously can't afford them at the moment. The Vishnu gun.
and uh, these weapons apparently are significant upgrades, at least during the uh, mid-game. They do explode sometimes, but uh, they do significant damage. They're obviously prohibitively expensive at the moment, but you do these missions and uh, it'll reduce the cost. So I need to start saving up both to recruit more troops and to... Um, I haven't found any Sinedrian yet, but I also need to um, get a base set up somewhere in the Americas so I can start getting over there. Okay, so the gift is beginning soon, which will be a uh, Sinedrian. It means I should also have the Sinedrian uh, entry mission. Okay, so a couple of new. So I don't want to do the gift too soon now because I've just had an intelligence report. Once you complete the gift, the behemoth starts going berserk, but it can't actually spawn flyers until the next intelligence report happens. And uh, killing the flyers that it spawns is the only way to stop the behemoth from rampaging. Almost healed. So let's come over and do this. Hey, we have found Synedrian. And uh, I will come over and we will actually do that mission. We'll do it with everyone. Level four. Don't really want assault rifle proficiency. I don't know what I want to dual class to or if I want to dual class, so we'll just leave that for now. Ammo situation is acceptable. Not brilliant, but acceptable. Okay, so you're going to jump up here and be a scout, basically. Okay, so there's three there. The other places they sometimes spawn are on the roof here and um, around this section. I can make a difference. Move in the snipers. Do I have three snipers in this team? Oh, right, right, because I have the um the other part of the other team with me as well. So we'll send a couple of people around this side to flank them. Advancing. I mean, we've got eight people here, so we've got a pretty, uh, pretty clear battlefield advantage. Stop 
And yeah, that'll be a turn. Let's have a look. It's a nice shot. Poison good enough. Oh. What do you mean you did fine? Don't put yourself down like that. What? No. No, I obviously didn't want to do that. That's frustrating. I, missed. What? I love that they can fire and still overwatch. That's just great is what that is. Wow, nice shot. Nice shot. move somewhere a little more protected and that'll be our turn these guys can actually do a fair bit of damage with their pistols in a turn because they can fire four times and it also means they can move a fair distance and still get in at least one shot one down like four more to go Disappointing. You hate to see it. Bit more luck there. Should be able to finish that guy off taking out the arms for these guys isn't sufficient because they're using pistols which are one-handed we do need to kind of do it the hard way all right only two left cool Moving to 
Let's give this guy a bonk on the head. Bang bang Maxwell's silver hammer and all that. Take a shot, Overwatch. Okay, and we should be pretty good from here. Might as well uh, move up and take the shot anyway. Get this over with a turn earlier. Bye bye. Excellent. And we have met Sanedrian. Load faster. These guys do look kind of dope. Then you have a strategy. And he takes thirteen seconds to research. Gives us some bonus uh, resources. No real reason not to do it. All right, let's liberate this scarab. Ah oh, well, you tried your best. Kinda. Ooh. Computer's slowing down a bit. So ultimately for this mission I need to get here to activate a little console and then here to pick up the scarab and then evacuate here or... Oh, I can evacuate over there as well. Or there. Okay, good to know, good to know. Crabman, cool. We'll have a little look if there's any uh, bad guys in this building here. There's not. That's nice. Alright, that'll be our turn. What are they doing? Where is this activity? I want to see it. Show it to me. Show it to me now. Where are you moving? What are you doing? It's obviously not this guy or that guy. Oh, actual movement.
I don't know how this is going to turn out in the video, but even just like watching, like just playing through the game, it's um. Lagging a lot. The, uh, the animations are really jerky. So we'll probably um, wrap it up after this mission. But uh, yeah, I've been doing a, a chunk of recording today. So it'll probably be the end of it for today. Now, can you get in close enough to thwack this dude? No. What if you dash? All right. So these ones are uh, turn invisible and run away when you hit them. Except uh, this guy's dazed, so I guess he can't. But yeah, they have this pain chameleon ability. All right, one less crab man in the world. I'm repositioning. Mind fragger? Where? Okay. Not immediately threatening. Another triton. Okay. Also not immediately threatening. We'll get someone up on the roof here. Get a nice uh nice view of the battlefield. Get a bit of damage on this one, so uh, hopefully when it moves, it'll just uh, die immediately. Okay, so that dude is actually not going to die for at least a few turns, so let's just finish it off. And that's our turn, I guess. So this guy's probably going to want to move this way to attack, although it might be clever and go after the guy on the roof. But either way, it should get at least one sniper shooting at it. Yeah. Oh boy, my uh, my poor computer is struggling. It is having a struggle. They're so annoying. Turn invisible, pump out mist, shoot their pistols, run away. And the way they try to hold the pistol sideways as if they're gangster just irritates me. So yeah, that's the uh that's the guy I gotta find. Yeah, he's gonna go up here. Oh, okay, so everyone's just ganking the berserker. Unfortunately, he's just not quite hurt enough to die.
Yep, so since I've hit him, yep, he'll turn invisible. I did a short about this and how you can see them when they move, but you can't when they're in the mist. It's a bit harder. Mm -hmm. Can I have my turn back, please? Uh, you're going to jump on over here and get the objective. See if we can take out this mind fragger. Got it, yes. Did not expect that, I'll be real. Just move out of the line of sight so everyone's not trying to gank him. We'll set up an overwatch there. Operative on the move. Another guy up to the roof. Now we, because this guy is not undercover at all, he probably is going to get shot by that one that ran off with the pistol. And this guy. So he's going to take a little bit of damage. I'm going in. Yep. That will do me. Did I not set that one on Overwatch? I may well not have. Another Mind Fragger, really? I would prefer not another Mind Fragger. Yeah, just, just all things being equal. That would be my preference. Yeah, that's that invisible one. So he doesn't become... Okay, so he's over here. Over here somewhere. Yeah, I mean, that's not exactly surprising that you missed that, let's be real. Acquiring targets. See if we can kill this guy off. Not quite. That's a little annoying, I'm not going to lie. Not going to lie.
I'm going to set up a very specific overwatch cone here, just targeting that one. You can't really do much, so just stay there. Now, I really have to make sure this, uh, this dude dies. A little easier said than done, though. The other problem is they do have quite the movement range. Alright, I guess that's our turn. Fair enough. That's one action if it wants to use it shooting. That's fine. Means it doesn't trigger the overwatch. Gets a little bit of damage on one of my dudes. It's a good decision given that it's going to die anyway. Uh, these turns are uh, slowing down. My poor computer. Well, that wasn't what I hoped would happen. And now we get to our slurpy slurpy. Yeah, go uh, slap it in the head with a hammer. Bonk. Wonderful. Now you are going to jump over here. Oh, where is this additional enemy you found? I know it's there, that's why I'm moving in that direction. I didn't expect that to hit. I just thought it'd be fun to try. Okay, so where is the closest evac point for these guys? That one and that one, they're like honestly kind of much of a muchness. Wonderful. All right, that is the turn. I was just about to say, hopefully it's foolish enough to uh, walk into the sniper fire. Get in there. That exit's actually a lot closer. I don't know why I decided to go back this way. But, you know, here we are. Stop 
with me. Does this guy have a gun? No. Okay. Oh, game's crashing. Or is my mouse failing? Also entirely possible my mouse is just running out of batteries. I'm going. So we'll start evacuing on this side. Um, the snipers should be able to get out in the next turn or two, so it's not a big, not a big problem. Let's make this happen. Bunch of my guys are stealthed again, which is nice. I don't know where the stealth overhaul came from, but I'm not going to say no to it. This video is a little bit longer than the other ones, but I mean, part of that is, of course, because my uh, computer's slowing down, but. Oh, thank you. I was going to say, can at least one of you wait until you actually have a reasonable chance of uh, exiting? So we're actually going to run back here. Just so the, um, get the snipers out a little bit more safely. All right. Mission completed. So we'll just watch the uh, exit cinematic for this and then we'll uh, probably call it a day. Any moment now. Good job, Phoenix. Uh, I will be taking that scarab if you don't mind. Uh, what will I do with it? Improve it, of course. It's so dull and boring right now. It needs a bit more flair. Next time you're at the marketplace, keep your eyes open for the improvements. <laughs> so creepy. Alright, so as I said, my computers are slowing down a little bit, struggling, and we're a little over normal time for this video, so we're going to uh, call it a day here. As always, thanks so much for tuning in. You all stay brilliant. I'm going to catch you real soon.